Alright fellas, what is up? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. It is always great. Appreciate it. Hope it's going well. Now I just want to say a big shout out. Oh, get the UAV baby. Love it. I just want to say a big shout out for 8 subscribers that I got yesterday. I actually gained 8. That's the most I've gained in a single day ever. So a big shout out to the new subscribers. And guys, I want to talk to you guys about the top 5 games I cannot wait for next year. Because that, like now... At the time that we are currently at there is not really much stuff to talk about there's not really any big halo news or any f any big fallout news or any gaming news in general it's all very quiet until the new year of course so i kind of want to take this time to just think about the games i cannot freaking wait for so let's get straight into it fellas now now number five is actually, is actually not too far away it's only a couple of weeks away and that is Halo Wars 2. I'm not a big RTS fan. Now that is what Halo Wars is. And I didn't play the first one too much. But I did buy the first one. Because it is actually playable on backwards compatibility. Now I didn't realise that if you pre-ordered Halo Wars 2. And got the definitive edition. You, you actually get a remaster of Halo Wars 1. Now I didn't know that. So I'm going to go pick that up of course. Now I am pretty excited for Halo Wars 2. Because I love Halo Vales. Anything Halo I am all over it. So Halo Wars 2 for me is number five now number four has got to be prey now this kind of science fictiony space survival horror scary game i cannot freaking wait the fact that you can actually turn into a cup i mean come on fellas you can turn into a cup to hide from monsters that is pretty freaking cool now prey is actually it's actually the third one in the series correct me if i'm wrong but it's like a reimagining of the franchise i cannot wait for that it looks scary awesome first person shooter cannot wait for prey that releases next year now number 3 also is only a few weeks away, that is Resident Evil 7. I've been a, a huge fan of the Resident Evil franchise fellas. Now this one is in first person, it's taken a, diff, a different take on the franchise. It looks a lot scarier than previous entries. So I cannot wait for Resident Evil 7, it looks scary and tense. It looks pretty freaky as well, so I cannot wait for that. And I love scary games fellas, so I'm going to be all over Resident Evil 7. And number 2, we don't really know much about it, but the next Call of Duty... I am pretty excited and the reason why I am pretty excited for the next Call of Duty is that the rumours fellas that it is going to be boots on the ground either based in Vietnam or, or World War 2 or just back to the boots on the ground combat fellas that is why I am, ex I am excited for what Sledgehammer do bring to the table for the next Call of Duty just please guys please Sledgehammer I am begging you from Zombie Bang be boots on the ground classic COD gameplay no exosuits fellas just keep it nice boots on the ground just keep it fun fellas of course so I hope they do bring it back home with that so Sledgehammer please if you're listening bring it home please and number one has got to be my most anticipated game I think you guys might know what it is I've been playing the old ones quite recently it has got to be Mass Effect Andromeda I cannot freaking wait this game i played mass effect 2 and 3 and i gotta say i prefer mass effect to fallout outside playing this now that is a big thing for me to say because fallout is probably one of my favorite game series of all time and i actually prefer mass effect to fallout now that i've been playing through those games so mass effect andromeda is now on the top of my list for anticipated games for 2017 so i cannot wait for andromeda the next entry in the franchise got some new characters to play around with the graphics look amazing the gameplay looks amazing, the open worldness looks awesome, and I cannot wait for Andromeda to come out next year. Spring 2017, so that's a holiday for us over here in New Zealand near the end of the year. But fellas, if you guys agree with my list, or if you want to add other games that you're excited for, be sure to comment down below. And if you guys are ex as excited as I am for Mass Effect Andromeda, be sure to comment down, of course. And any, any other games you guys are excited for, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. So those are my most anticipated games for 2017. We have Halo Wars 2, Prey, Resident Evil 7, The Next Call of Duty, and Mass Effect Andromeda. So I cannot freaking wait for all of those games. But fellas, as always, thank you for watching. It really is always greatly appreciated. Now, I just want to quickly mention a proposition that I do have for you guys. You can be interested or not. I just want to quickly explain it. And I'll, I'll mention it in a few videos I have upcoming as well. And I'm actually thinking of covering... The next mass effect like doing news updates kind of kind of like what i did with halo 5 do do like heaps of news updates discussions about all the like the big information that we do learn about mass effect and so i am actually kind of thinking about doing that but i want to ask you guys if you want me to do that if you guys like to see videos like that add it into the current rotation of stuff i do at the moment so be sure to comment down below and if you guys like to see me cover mass effect andromeda but as always, have a great day, have a great week. Be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. The link's in the description down below. Stay safe, stay tuned, and I will see you fellas on the next one. Yeah. Woo!
Yeah.